Have you ever wondered what it would feel like if you were a millionaire? You know, that's probably a little unrealistic for you to wrap your brain around, at least you might think it is. So maybe you've thought, hmm, I wonder what it would feel like if I just knew a millionaire. Well, I've got news for you. Not only do you know a millionaire, but you're eating with a millionaire, you're sleeping with a millionaire, and you're even brushing the teeth of a millionaire every day, and you don't even know it. You want to know what I'm talking about? Then keep watching this video, because in this video, I'm going to share with you one of the lessons from my debt-free millionaire system called the millionaire myth. And you're going to discover what a millionaire really is, and I think it's going to change the way how you think about your potential when you're done watching the video. But before I share this lesson with you, do yourself a favor and subscribe to our channel. When you click the button to subscribe, also click the bell next to the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when we post more videos like this. So let's go ahead and get right to it and let's start to change your paradigm on what a millionaire actually is. In this session, we're going to cover something I call the millionaire myth. Now this is more of a commonly accepted belief than it is a strategy. You're going to discover how your perspective or your belief of what a millionaire is, isn't lined up with reality. So let's get right to it. Now what pictures come to mind when you think of a millionaire? Does that picture look like someone driving an exotic sports car? Or do images of yachts and fancy expensive jewelry come to mind? Now, when you think of a millionaire, you probably picture someone with endless amounts of money and a life that you can only dream about, right? And when you think of a millionaire, it's very likely you're thinking the chances of you ever becoming one are something like you need to win the lottery in order to achieve it, right? Let's face it, deep down inside, you really don't believe that you could ever become a millionaire, do you? Remember Napoleon Hill's achievement equation and what connects the conceiving part with the achieving part? It's believing. And if deep down inside you believe it's impossible for you to ever become a millionaire, guess what? You're probably right. That's because you will achieve what you truly believe deep down inside. So let's get to work on that misguided belief. When you picture someone you believe to be a millionaire, that someone probably looks like Bill Gates or Warren Buffett or some super celebrity or professional athlete. Now, are these folks millionaires? Of course they are. But these folks are multi-millionaires. Some of them are even billionaires. And you know, when you begin to compare yourself to folks like these, it's easy to doubt that you could ever become a millionaire instead of believing that you can. But is that an accurate assessment? I mean, is it accurate to believe that the definition of a millionaire is one of those celebrity types that you see on the cover of the magazines at the checkout counter? Now, to answer that question, let's take a look at how Webster defines the word millionaire. Webster defines a millionaire as a person whose wealth is estimated at a million or more dollars. So are those people gracing the cover of People Magazine millionaires? Sure, some of them are. But if we truly accept the definition we just read, then what we really need to do is take a little deeper look into what the word wealth really means since a millionaire is someone whose wealth is estimated to be more than a million dollars, right? So what is wealth? Let's take a look at what Webster says about that. Webster defines the word wealth as an abundance of valuable possessions or resources. And if the word millionaire means that your wealth is worth a million or more dollars, then it's important to truly understand what wealth is too. You see, wealth is not only measured in currency, it's measured in possessions and resources that have value. Now these may be fairly broad terms, so consider this. If I offered you a job and was willing to pay you $1 an hour, and you'd probably laugh in my face, or maybe even spit in it. But if I offered you a job and was willing to pay you $100 an hour, I'd probably get a very different response. And when considering the relation to these two different offers, your focus is on the return your time will generate, and the measure of that return is an amount of money or the exchange of dollars for your time. Your time, which may be your most valuable possession or resources, has value. And have you ever considered that if someone was willing to pay you thirty, forty, fifty, seventy-five thousand dollars a year, that they think you, or at least the position you'll be filling, carries that kind of value? Think about that. For just a minute now, think about it. And what is your current gross income each year? That amount is the amount of value you're bringing to the marketplace. 
If you're working 40 hours a week and 52 weeks a year, you're working 2,080 hours each year. And in return, your employer values those hours the amount you're being paid. Pretty simple, right? So where am I going with all this? Well, hang in there in just a few moments. It'll make crystal clear sense to you. Okay, so you're working 2,080 hours every year and generating, let's say, 50 grand a year. Here's my question to you. What total amount of money would you need to have in some kind of an investment in order to safely and securely generate 50 grand in interest income off of that investment for the year? The same amount that your 2,080 hours of work is generating right now. Enough interest so you can replace the income that's costing you those 2,080 hours or more each year. The answer to that question is this following formula. Dollars of interest generated divided by percent interest return equals the investment necessary to replace your income. We know the dollars being generated, that's your annual income. In this example, it's 50 grand a year. We can get an idea of the percent return by looking at current interest rates and being paid differently on things like CDs or other secured investments like T-bills. Now let's say you're able to safely and securely generate 5% interest on the investment that's necessary to replace your 50 grand a year in income. What's the answer? Simple, 50 grand divided by 5% equals $1 million. So what's the point? The point is that what we've just done to some extent is calculate what you are worth. Now, I don't want you to think that what I'm saying is that this is all you're worth. You know, I believe that each one of us has what I believe to be immeasurable value. But in terms of dollars and cents and in terms of the value the marketplace has placed on you or the work that you do, we've calculated that specific value. And what this means is that if you had an investment of $1 million that was able to generate 5% annual interest, you wouldn't have to work because the wealth would be generating the same 50 grand a year that the 2,080 hours of work is generating for you right now, and it would replace your income. What this also means is that if you had that kind of wealth, guess what? You'd be a millionaire, right? I mean, you'd have a million dollars, wouldn't you? So if it would take $1 million, given these numbers, to replace you and the 2,080 hours of work that you do each year, you as a resource of, which is a measure of wealth, are worth $1 million right now. The problem is you have to work those 2,080 hours each year to generate the 50 grand in annual income. This is how insurance companies try to sell you life insurance, by selling you a policy designed to replace the income that you, as a resource, generate for those you'd be leaving behind. But at this point, instead of accumulated wealth generating interest income, your labor and efforts are generating salaried income, and the goal is to get to a place where your income is being generated by accumulated wealth and not your blood, sweat, and tears. And what we've also done is calculate your wealth potential. Let's take a moment to define wealth potential. Now, we've already defined wealth as an abundance of valuable material possessions or resources. So let's take a look at what Webster has to say about potential. Potential means existing in possibility, capable of development into actuality. Your wealth potential is the amount of wealth you have the potential to bring into existence, you know, from possibility into actuality. And what you need to learn is that your wealth potential is directly tied to the amount of income you're currently generating because that's the amount you have to work with. Of course, that amount can and it's probably going to change in the future. It could go up, it could go down. But you and your current income, along with how much time you have to accumulate wealth, are the key resources to achieving your wealth potential. Let me give you this definition. Your wealth potential is equal to the amount of your current income divided by the current average interest rates for highly secured investments, or as I've outlined in our previous example, 50 grand divided by 5% equals $1 million. Does that look familiar? What I'm saying is that your current salaried income is an indication of the amount of wealth you have the potential to accumulate. And by properly utilizing your income as a key financial resource now, you stand the best possible chance of achieving your wealth potential, and that's what your debt-free millionaire system is designed to help you to do. You're going to learn how to properly use your current resources to build a financial future you have the realistic opportunity to create. Make sense? Great. Okay, a quick word on something I think is important to take just a moment to explain. Remember when I asked you what you thought a millionaire was? 
When asked that question, most people think of things like mansions, four-car garages filled with a BMW or Mercedes or other luxury or exotic sports cars, and they think of things like yachts and five-carat diamonds. But what we just did was illustrate that if you had a million dollars right now, that wealth would produce about 50 grand in annual gross income from which you'd have to pay income taxes. Now that probably doesn't seem like what you believe a millionaire would be, does it? I mean, the point is that a millionaire isn't just someone with a huge house, a fleet of exotic cars, and endless amounts of money. No, a millionaire is simply someone living what most people would be considered to be a normal life. The only difference would be that they wouldn't have to trade their hours for dollars. They wouldn't have to go and generate income because their accumulated wealth will be doing that for them. The point is this. While you may not have a million dollars right now, by learning how to effectively use your current resources, you could be a millionaire in the making. You have the potential to become what you probably think is impossible. And the reason you probably think it's impossible is because you've been working your butt off and feeling like you're getting nowhere, maybe even falling behind. Well, you know what? You are feeling that way because you are working your butt off and you probably are going nowhere and maybe you're even falling behind. Even if you're currently paying all of your bills each month and have money left over, it's very possible that you're still going nowhere fast and that maybe you're even moving backwards. But whatever you do, Please don't worry, because you're going to learn what you can do with your current resources, almost no matter what they are, to change your direction and begin to move forward, forward towards the financial peace of mind that's just out there waiting for you. And you should start to let that financial peace of mind, well, begin to settle in right now. Because what we did just cover is that while you may not feel like one, you could be a millionaire in the making and your wealth potential is a possibility. You just need to learn how to use your current resources to achieve that potential. Now that we've taken the time to reveal what a millionaire really is, and not the myth you've believed it to be, the thought of you actually becoming a millionaire sounds a little more believable, doesn't it? And the more believing we can develop in your personal perception of your wealth potential, the closer you are to achieving it. And the key to achieving it is the proper use of your current resources. I bet right now you might be thinking about a millionaire a little bit differently and maybe even about your potential to become one a little bit more positively. At least that's what I hope. And if you'd like more information like this, click the link below because I want to give you access to a free three-part training called People Are Lying to You and It's Costing You a Fortune. The training is free and it will give you more information just like this that will help you look at how money works quite a bit differently and give you a more positive outlook on what your future has the potential to achieve. Please take advantage of the training and while you're at it, subscribe to our channel and click the bell when you subscribe so you'll be notified when we post more videos like this one. Meanwhile, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.